What up, gang? Hey, I thought I would just take a moment to sit here and just talk to you guys for a couple of minutes about the CBR 1000 RR and the brand new 2023 ZX10R that I just picked up yesterday um, from the dealership. And I've gotten lots of questions from you guys asking me like, hey CK, what is the most comfortable bike? Which is more comfortable, the ZX10R or the CBR 1000 RR? I'm actually super torn between the two. And um, I just want to know exactly what your opinion is of that particular, of these two bikes. You know, which one would you pick if you were going for more for comfort? I'm going to say something that I think is obviously known to a lot of guys who race. These bikes, including the R1 right behind me over here, but any of these three bikes right here are not meant for comfort. If you guys are looking for comfort, y'all need to be freaking looking at a either an Aprilia or if you guys are not riding a sport bike, you have to be looking at a Harley. Um, these bikes are not meant to be ridden for long distances and oftentimes it's torture. Uh, I know that even riding the R1 two hours going wherever I'm going, I'm sore by the end of that ride. Obviously I'm almost 50 freaking years old. So, you know, my body aches in places that didn't ache before when I was in my 20s. But I am gonna say this, okay? I've only ridden this bike 12 miles, 12 miles. I've got over uh, 360 miles on this particular bike right here. And I'm gonna say something too, that for, for overall comfort, for the limited amount of time that I've actually been on the bike, this is a very comfortable bike. Uh, it does not take away from the Honda CBR 1000 RR. That bike actually is way more comfortable between that and the R1 or R1M. I would ride the Honda all day long. And I have gone on several um, rides that were over an hour and a half on that bike and didn't come off feeling any more sore than I would if I was riding basically um, on the track, uh, doing, doing two to three heats um, in a day. So the same type of soreness basically. But for a lot of people that are trying to figure out which one would be best for you, I will make this one recommendation, I think a lot of you will agree with it, is you're gonna need to go to the dealership and just throw a leg over the dang bike. Um, and just feel the position. Sometimes the guys in the dealership are super cool and um, they have stands obviously that they can, they can put it up on a stand if, it, if the bike has a spool, has spools on them. And they'll let you sit on top of that while they lift the bike up so you kind of get into a tough position and feel what it feels like. Um, these bikes right here, this bike, and also the, I should say the, the Kawasaki ZX-10R, and also the, the Honda CBR-1000RR, both are 2023s. In comparison, let's say to an Aprilia RS660, where you feel like you're almost riding straight up on the, on the bars, almost like you're riding an NT07 or 09, or a naked bike, these do not feel like that at all. Uh, they're aggressive positions, um, obviously, I'm a bigger guy, I weigh like 190 pounds basically, uh, but I'm also quite bulky. My big old Polynesian body, I mean at 50 years old, I'm still, you know, kind of still bulky. And, um, but I can still get tucked pretty good in these bikes on, in, in position here. It's just, like I said, it, it has its purpose. It's, these bikes go 180 plus miles an hour. They're meant to be basically aerodynamic and the positions that they have you in from the handlebars to the pegs to where the tanks are laid. It's designed to get you in the most aerodynamic position so you don't fly off the bike at 185, 195 miles an hour. So I say that to say this, I would go down to the dealership, literally sit on these bikes, get into a nice tuck position as if you were at the track and put your chin to the dang tank and see how it feels. Um, obviously you guys know when you're riding on the freeway or even on the street, you're not tucked down there like this the whole time. You're more prostrate. And a lot of guys, you see all those little 20 year old kids out there riding these bikes, they're all like one hand doing this thing. I think this is so gay by the way. All this like, you know, like just riding like this the whole time. I mean, I I tend to lean on the tank a little bit sometimes with the longer um, ride. But you see these guys riding one hand and everything too. I mean, if you're sitting up like that, you're probably never gonna be sore on any of these bikes. But if you are riding in a holding position, and you're going down the freeway, heading, let's say, on a on a 70 or 80 mile ride on a freeway, uh, you're gonna feel it in your wrists after about 25 miles. You're gonna feel it in your butt after 25 miles. You're gonna feel it in your legs. Your legs start to cramp a little bit. You may have to stretch your leg out. I throw my leg up to the side, left and right, when I'm riding long distance on these bikes. If I have to go take my bike somewhere, um, that's actually over an hour. It's gonna, it's, it's human nature, guys. It's gonna happen. 
But if I were to pick between these two bikes right here, these two, I'd say this one is more comfortable. So the ZX-10R. Hopefully that helps guys a little bit. Uh, I know that um, it really, you won't know for yourself until you actually sit on the bike, get into a tuck position or ride the dang thing. You can borrow one or rent one uh, just to go take it out in the street and ride it for a little bit. I mean, after an hour is when you know if the bike is comfortable or not, literally. Sometimes after 30 minutes, you'll know if the bike is comfortable or not. But until then, it's a crapshoot. Anyway, I love you guys. Hopefully uh, this was somewhat helpful to you. Thanks again too for the 500 subscribers that we've got. Trying to get to a thousand guys. I only started this channel a couple weeks ago. Um, again, uh, I'm retired and just uh, just trying to fill my time. And obviously now I'm just riding bikes more often and doing more things with these bikes because I have time to go ahead and make it happen. And uh, just excited to be able to share this stuff with you guys. But I appreciate all the support out there. You guys are amazing. Uh, and again, if I had to choose between the CB, the 2023 CBR 1000RR or the uh, Kawasaki Ninja uh, ZX-10R KRT edition for comfort, it would be the green bike. All right, guys, I love you all. Have a great, safe weekend. Wear your gear, wear your helmets, boys, and make sure that you guys are not riding dirty. Go get your dang um, motorcycle licenses. A lot of you guys out there riding without your licenses. I know that for a fact because I did it when I was a kid. But um, if you get into an accident or a wreck, guess what? That's on you and it can change the whole trajectory of your lifetime. So you don't want to get sued that way. Make sure you guys have your license. Make sure you guys have insurance on your bikes. And make sure you're flipping wearing your gear. Love you guys. CK out. Peace.